Many databases that are often used when searching for systematic reviews have different ways of storing their references. This severely hinders fast and accurate deduplication. Normalizing the storage of imported references speeds up the process, reducing the number of references that have to be checked manually. The differences mainly occur in two fields. In Medline, end page numbers are often abbreviated, while other databases provide full page numbers. In some databases, the standard export to endode will result in abbreviated journal titles, while other databases show full journal titles. These differences mean that the diff references cannot be automatically deduplicated on page numbers or on journal titles. However, these fields turned out to be important in the deduplication process. Therefore, we want these fields to be stored in a constant manner independent of the databases of origin. Another reason for executing this phase is the storage of PMIDs, PubMed Unique Identifiers. Where and how the PMIDs are stored uh, varies per database. When stored correctly, they will both enhance the retrieval of full text and allow for deduplication on PMIDs in step 3. Normalizing the imported references is done in several ways, and one of the important things that we have developed is custom import filters. We've developed custom import filters for many different databases, such as Medline in Ovid, Ambase.com, and Web of Science. If you download references, if you export references from these databases, we recommend that you store these files locally and then use EndNote to import the file. Let me demonstrate this on one of the databases that most of you will use, Ovid Medline. If you perform a search in Ovid Medline, we recommend that you select all references and go to Export. If you click on Export, the option that you should choose, the format that you should choose, is Reprint Medlart. And the fields that you need to select is Complete References. The Complete References contain both the abbreviated journal titles and the full journal titles. So you export the file, and once you've exported this file in EndNote, you can download this file. If you go to Import, you can choose the file that we have just created, that is now in our downloads. The file is called medlars.txt. And the import option that you should choose is the custom file in filter that we've developed, Medline Ovid Erasmus MC. And you click Import. Now you will see that the references that we have shown here have a full journal title and not an abbreviated journal, uh, have an abbreviated journal title instead of the normal full journal titles. A problem still in these references is the difference in page numbers. As said before, Medline and PubMed have abbreviated page numbers. We need to repair that. Repairing the page numbers for PubMed and Medline is done by importing your references first in the temporary library and then exporting the references into a new file. The file is created as if it were a file from from PubMed or and from PubMed or Medline, and then that file is imported in the final reference, the final library that you want to create. So if we go back to our EndNote file, we see that for the references that we have just imported from Medline Ovid, we see abbreviated page numbers. To elongate these page numbers, what we have to do is we have to select all the references that we have just imported and then export these references. And for that export, we use an output style underscore correct pages. 
We save the file as a .txt file. And now we have created a file that looks as if it were coming from Madeline Ovid, but it has the correct page numbers. What we can do next is we can delete this temporary EndNote library, create a new EndNote library, which will be our final EndNote library. And in that final EndNote library, we will import these references. So for the import file, we choose the file that we have just created, which was in the downloads, the myendlelibrary.txt. And as the import option, we will choose the import file filter, import corrected pages, and click on import. And what you will see now is that these references have both the full journal title and they have long page numbers. That means that we can deduplicate on page numbers and on journal, journal title.